Let's talk Roku. Uh, if you remember uh, a while ago, a week or two ago, Roku took a hit and it wasn't a big hit. That was kind of the deal. In fact, I think it was this day. It doesn't really matter, but um, the stock was doing well. It had come out of this really solid um, multi-month pattern. I mean, this thing's you can see how long uh, it lasted here for almost eight months here. And then it started to tick up in a nice cup and handle. Um, new high, all systems go, and then uh, Amazon uh, announces that they're entering this field, and so they're going to be uh, competitors of Roku, and the stock takes a tumble down here, but like that was it, that was it, and then since that time, the stock has been coming up here. Now, you can look at this and say, well, wow, you know, that's extended, it's too um, too late to buy. You know, I didn't think so because the stock, you know, it did come back. It was right to take profits if you had been long for a while um, because, hey, Amazon came in and you don't want to sit here and say, no, my money's on Roku. Screw that. My money's not. My money's on Lex Luthor anytime. That bald guy's going to rule the world. He's in the process of it right now. Um, so you're staying long the stock though now because Amazon comes after it and the stock rebounds. Okay, that's you know that's like Lazarus, man. I mean this thing just won't die. So <coughs> the stock's up here and then finally you get this nice breakout, right? So you get a solid breakout. That was Monday and then today it moves even higher. Now I took some profits today. I kind of wished I hadn't taken any, but my discipline is that if I've got a position that's up, um, say, 15%, sometimes less, but uh, we'll say 12 to 15%, you know, I want to take some off the table. I don't, I don't like to sell it all, but I'll take some off the table just to drop my cost basis and the rest of it. Um, but you can see, like, let's get this up to present day. You can see, you know, the stock ran up first thing in the morning and then started to trade down. I took some profits right around here. But then the stock is stabilized and now it's back up. So the bottom line for me is I'm looking at the top line and I think it's above 71 bucks. I think the stock continues to move. And but it depends on, you know, what you do depends on your time frame. And here's what I'm talking about. Look at the weekly chart. Okay. This stock has actually not been trading for that long, and it's just now cranking on a new IPO move where the stock had ultimately peaked here. First it was here, and then once the stock got back above that, you know, it ran over 100% before it peaked. Then it took quite a while for the stock to, to pull back and then only got above it here. And so now I'm actually looking for this stock to continue to move higher. You can trade around the position, certainly, but I would want to be long this stock unless it falls back below 65 bucks. And the way the stock is trading, I really don't think it's going to do that. So if you're long Roku, stay long. I honestly can't recommend buying the stock after it's up four consecutive days especially when you consider it even more, like um, how many days has this been trading? Nine days, and only two of those days have seen down days. So the stock is up quite a bit. It is a total undisciplined buy if you're buying right now. But if you're holding it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell. I wish that I had back the shares that I sold by the way this thing's trading. And I may build my position back up um, tomorrow just letting you know sometimes when a stock's running you just have to say you know what I, I want to get a little bit bigger in the name but typically this is really the last time on a disciplined basis that you should be buying the stock down here maybe up here but once it moves to a new high you're really not a buyer you're a potential seller so anyway and that's Fitzpatrick's 10th uh, rule of trading know when to break um, the prior nine okay anyway that's it here uh, don't forget about the uh, the webinar on Thursday night it's gonna be fun I wanna see you there